Hi, my name is Richard Walters. In this demonstration, we're going to look at printing setup in Microsoft Project. This covers most of the areas of printing in Microsoft Project, and this will now be covered. In this demonstration, we're going to look at printing in Microsoft Project. So there's two areas that we really need to look at managing when printing in Microsoft Project. The one is the timescale area, which is above the blue taskbars. It's where we can see the default timescale showing an M to an F, that's Monday to Friday. That's called the bottom tier. And the week segments, that's called the middle tier. So Project by default uses two tiers to print, and that's the bottom tier and the middle tier. Now these can be modified, so we'll shortly modify the timescale. But first let's look at how the print looks at present. So I'm going to go to the File tab, Print. And we can see that the taskbars are not quite all shown. And for a really small project, you should be able to print with all of these blue taskbars shown. And that's by modifying the timescale area and possibly as well the paper size. So at present, the A4 is for the, for the default. We can update this to A3 for a bigger paper size. Now maybe for a small project, the A3 is um, maybe not appropriate, it's not, not required. But for a bigger project, the A3 and above would be required for a larger project. So in a smaller project, we're gonna go back to A4. Now we're gonna adjust the timescale back in project. So I'm going to double left click the timescale area, and I can do that by, by click, double left clicking anywhere uh, in the gray area where there's an M to an F or the week segment. So I'm going to double left click, and that gives me a timescale box. This could have also been done by hovering my mouse in the gray area and right clicking and also choosing timescale. So I'll leave the timescale box open now. For the small project we're now looking at, You've got a 56 day project. Well, a better middle tier unit would be months. So every month, as we say, it should say three months altogether. And we'll say the month needs to have a month and year format. And bottom tier, the logic here would be every week in the month. So a week, and we'll leave the format that project has given us. I'm going to click OK. And that's the way the project presently looks. Now to print and get the blue task bars as close as I can to the information. Let's have a look at that, how that looks in print. So we can see all the blue task bars now, so better with the, the new time scale settings. Now we're also going to look at printing when a constraint in note has been applied. So I'm going to go back into project. I'm going to apply a constraint to the task one to delay the task by 10 working days. So we're now going to start, this task starts on the 25th, so I'm going to click on the 25th and work for 10 working days, which is the 9th of October. I'm going to put a note in. I'll say engineer manager, unavailable. 10 working days. Okay. And there's the constraint in the note. So we can now say constraint plus a note. We're now going to look how to print with this. So back into file tab, back into print. Now at present, we can see the note and the constraint, but we don't know what the reason is. If we were to print it off at present, we can adjust this by going to the settings area, clicking the drop down arrow, and just selecting notes third from the bottom. That gives us a new page now, because now we've got one page one of two. There's an arrow pointing to the right that will take us to where the notes are. And there's the reason then for that task delay. So we've got a task plus this reason. I'm going to go back to the arrow on the left, which takes us back to the project print. And this now completes printing in Microsoft Project, where we have reviewed paper size, time scale settings, as well as looking how to print in Microsoft Project when a constraint has been set. This now concludes the demonstration on printing setup in Microsoft Project. 
See you in the next video.